Okay, we're going to learn how to save our PowerPoint so that we can import it into iMovie and have it be the same resolution and look the same. So a couple things that you wanted to know how to do. First thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go to the Design tab. And under Page Setup, which is the very first thing, you're going to click on Page Setup. And here, where this is 4 by 3, we need to change this to 16 by 9 and click OK. And you'll see that our, our uh, slide just becomes larger. So you would add your slides, um, add new slide, so if you had multiple slides here, the way that you, I'm just going to quickly put a background on here. All right. <clears throat> the way that you would create your voiceover is by going to slideshow, record slideshow. And we're going to start the recording from the beginning and we are going to record everything and we just go to click start recording. So you'll see that I have a timer here. One of them is the timer for the slide. One is the timer for the whole presentation. So I'm talking, 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 talking. Click the arrow over. This resets. Talking, 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 talking. Talking, talking, talking. I can just push the arrow over. This resets this keeps going because the whole total presentation is now at 25 seconds and I'm gonna continue talking on this line talking 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 alright done alright so now I can see that I've got audio files here and what or how long each one of those audio files um, took up of my total presentation and I can just look at my show and listen to my show by um, giving it the good old F5. So you'll see that I have a timer here. One of them is the timer for the slide. You'll be One hearing my audio that I recorded into the PowerPoint. So I'm talking, 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 talking. Click the arrow over. All right. So we know that that works. Now we're just going to save this once we get it just the way we want it, we're going to go to File and we are going to Save As and we can name it whatever and I'm going to put mine on the desktop just so I know where it is but here I'm going to save this as a Windows Media file. So it's going to generate the slides and the audio and I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna look and do I see it of course here we go is presentation two this is my recording and I'm going to record all right oh sorry test two WMB all right I would have to go back and close all those but anyway, that's basically um, what you'll need to send me, and we can convert it then to the same kind of file that we, we've been using with iMovie, and it should be just fine.